Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked One. And today we're going to be going over a review of the October 17th Magic Lantern update. Now, uh, the nice thing about the update is it's a auto.exe bin. You just, that's the file. You just download the auto.exe file and you drag and drop around the SD card so you don't have to go through and remount your card or anything like that. Um, you just have to drag and drop this file on there and you get the automatic update now so it's a lot faster. Um, since you've already mounted your card once, you're not really gonna have to keep mounting it. And again, one of the new features of ML is if you go to menu, um, you now don't have to worry about deleting your stuff off your card and remounting it because uh, before in Magic Lantern you could not do formats without deleting Magic Lantern software as well but now you don't. I can go in, format, voila, I've still got Magic Lantern and that is just fantastic. Back in the day you had to go, well give it a second, it does take a few seconds, you had to go over to erase images and then you would have to erase all your images. So you don't have to do that any longer which is really nice. So that came out the September 22nd um, update they put out. So um, I'm just going to go over a few things. Um, I'm using the ML on my Canon T3i right now. So you push the delete button and you have all your menus. Now one of the new updates is if you notice up here you have different icons um, for all your uh, different settings or different different parts for your different settings like your exposures and movies and it even says it right here so you kind of know what um, each each thing does when you go to it so uh, they also added this in and it's the help section and it's got some information there if you need if you ever just why you're there you have a problem with your magic lantern or something isn't working right well guess what voila you might be able to fix it through these FAQs and all these other help um, items now Again, with the T3i, it doesn't have all the audio um, setup like the T2i. Um, it already has the AGC gain turned off, I believe. So you don't have, um, this live mode is pretty much your audio mode in the T2i in a manner of speaking, but you don't really have all those um, settings that you do in the T2i with audio. So, but you don't necessarily need it. Again, if you go into the menu, and let's think it's a second movie mode. You can go to a sound recording and you can kind of, you have control in your T3i, unlike your T2i, um, right here. And that's just natively put in there by Canon, which is really nice. So uh, one of my favorite things is the Magic Zoom. And what it does is, is it does like a magnification zoom so you can really get a really fine focus. So let's, it should already be set up. So we'll go back out and say, and it's gonna zoom on where I want it to. So say I want to zoom in this area right here. Now I'm just gonna go in. Now if you notice, what it's doing is it's making a huge magnification right here. And it's really letting me know how focused it really is in that, in that general area. Or if I wanna zoom way over here in the dark, and this is where I want my camera to focus on it. Zoom over here. Now if you notice, and so I can get that real fine and make it make it uh, as focused as possible, which is a really nice feature. Now, this has been around Magic Lantern for a while, but the last couple updates, I really think it's a lot smoother and it works a lot nicer. Um, let's see what else we got here. You have your crop marks, of course. Um, I'm not a big fan of using those. I know a lot of people use the crop marks. Um, you can turn your audio meters on and off. Um, and exposures, um, I'll show you one really cool item. So I'm gonna hit my ISO. Well, you may only be able to do this in the T2i, um, and I'll be, and I could be wrong here. But in the T2i, when you hit the ISO button and you cycle through it, it actually will jump um, by I think 20s or 30s or 40s or something like that. I'm not so sure you can do it in the T3i. I just put this on there yesterday, so I'm still kind of learning um, the features. T2i and T2i, or T2i and the T3i's features are a might bit different with Magic Lantern, so things respond a little bit differently. But for the most part, it's pretty similar. Now in here, you can go into here and then you can jump through if you need to do that to get your exposures down. So um, of course, that's always an option. Um, and it's got a few other, other things. You can also mess with your, like your sharpness and your contrast and all that. Um, and a lot of people are using these, uh, I guess they're called Cinestyles, I believe, but it's like a, a better color grade and um, and it's able to go in here and you put in so much saturation and stuff, which takes 
makes your color more flat but easier to color grade it and uh, and post when you're editing so uh, and I believe this is kind of some of the options you have right here with that I could be wrong though um, let's see here you have your bit rate so you can go in and I believe your bit rate is where you can actually make your quality of your video better but the problem is the better the quality the more data it's going to use the faster it's going to get to the point where your card can't buff fast enough even with the class 10 and uh, so you can only shoot for like you know sometimes five seconds of really a high quality video which could take a while so but you can mess with that here if you need to um, uh, it tells you how much uh, oh sorry this pops off after a few seconds uh, let's go back in so and then you've got a bunch of other settings and a lot of these settings I have to admit I have not gone through and used all of these settings because there are so many settings in um, a magic lantern like I guess this is a whole entire thing full of just tweaks that you can do to really get it customized the way you want to use a um, magic lantern but if you guys notice we don't have the flickering problem anymore uh, and that's really stopped over the last I don't know four or five builds that they've come out with uh, magic lantern is an amazing piece of software you have information down here as you can see and uh, I don't know I just I really applaud the guys for it and the uh, October 17th isn't much different from the 22nd uh, update so but it's a month later it's got I'm sure they've got a few new things in there since the 22nd update and fixed a few tweaks uh, most updates are better than the previous one nine times out of ten so uh, I would I would uh, check it out and see what you guys think um, and for people that haven't updated to the October 17th it looks pretty safe so I would go for the October 17th build anyways uh, there'll be links in my description bar for anybody that wants to go download the October 17th uh, build as well, um, there is there will be a link on the screen right now, and it will be a link to installing Magic Lantern on your T2i or T3i. Um, as well, there'll be a second link for anybody that doesn't know how to update their their software as well. Hey, 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 hey.